Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Lawyer Live with Matt the Lawyer. I am Matt Johnston, Matt the Lawyer. So today I had a meeting with a, a bunch of other business owners and executives. Uh, it's a monthly meeting that I have. Um, and one of the folks who was in the meeting was talking about a major concern that they have that, quite frankly, I hadn't heard about. Um, it hasn't been covered in much in the press, but come January of next year, so January of 2020, Microsoft will no longer be supporting Windows 7 machines. So if you have a Windows 7 uh, operating system in your computers, you will no longer receive software updates, and most importantly, you won't be receiving security patches and updates. So what does that mean? Well, companies that are using Windows 7 machines are going to have to upgrade. That's just the pure issue of the matter. You're going to have to upgrade. Now, you may be able to upgrade just your operating system, maybe. You more likely are going to need to fork out some money in order to purchase new machines that run on Windows 10. Um, and implementing those machines can take anywhere between 3 and 10 hours of a, of a text time in order to get that machine operating and ready and working on your network. So what does that mean? It means that you cannot wait until December. You can't wait until January. Otherwise, you are going to have a security risk. And another one of the folks in, in the group said that if you drug test employees, have you drug tested your computers? That's kind of the same sort of situation. We run an enormous security risk when we are dealing with our computers, and it is so hard to educate folks about it. We simply assume, oh, well, it's okay. I use cloud-based software. I don't have to worry about it. Well, that's not entirely true. If you have cloud-based software, it just means you need an internet connection to access your stuff. But if your Windows machine is not operating, or it's a security risk, so is your cloud-based data. Now, the comparable situation that, that this particular business executive was talking about, he's in the IT business, he said, this is kind of like the update for Windows XP. But a lot has changed since then. It's about 10 years ago. A lot has changed. Number one, there is much more malignant malware and viruswares that are out there. And heaven forbid, there is ransomware. So for those of you who don't know, ransomware is essentially a hacker, for lack of a better term, invades your system using an unsecured computer like these Windows 7 machines are going to be, and then they lock your system down. They lock you out of data. They lock you out of accessing your computers. They lock you out of, in short, your entire business until you pay them a ransom. And that ransom, five figures, oh, six figures, it could be any sort of number, and there's no guarantee that you're going to get access back. There's no guarantee that you're going to get your data back. So your business could literally die on January 19th, 2020, because January 18th is when Microsoft will stop supporting the Windows 7 machines. So then what do you do? Then you're looking at weeks, hundreds of thousands of dollars at best, to get your computer systems back up and operating, assuming you have data backups. And quite frankly, as this guy was pointing out, most people do not have regular backups. So what does this mean for you as a business? Well, number one, if you are in any sort of business that has any sort of personally identifiable information, that information is at risk. So if you maintain credit card information, if you maintain private records like medical records, you are in superior risk. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's nuclear disaster type risk, and you have to pay attention to this. If you are a business that operates using cloud-based software, we do. We need to make sure that our systems are up to date. Um, fortunately, all of my computers that we use are Windows 10 machines and so I'm not particularly worried about that, but this is a time for us to examine our security. If you are any sort of business that operates heavily by computers, whether that is in your day-to-day -day transactions, in tracking your business, in managing your business, 
You need to address this, and you need to address it now. Because here's the scary thought. Not only is there going to be a time function, there's also going to be two kinds of resource functions that are going to have some scarcity here. Number one, simple human capital. Are there going to be enough technicians to oversee and make the changes that are going to be necessary from old machines to new machines? Who knows? The other thing is, and this was something that I didn't know, uh, a few months ago, a factory in India literally burned to the ground. What was made in that factory? Intel computer chips. The computer chips that run the vast majority of computers in this country. Burned to the ground. Certain kinds of machines are now backlogged six months for ordering. So if you are one of these uh, companies that have slightly older machines, you're running Windows 7, you have been okay for a while, you're not anymore. And this is not something that you can put off. I know it means an expenditure of money. I know that it means an expenditure of time that you may not have. But quite frankly, if you don't invest the time now, come January 2020, you may very well be the subject of a massive hack, a directed denial of service, if you're lucky, and ransomware, viruses, all kinds of problems. We tend to think of security as something that's physical. We would never allow armed, 15 armed men to walk into our, our, our place of business and terrorize people. But if you have 15 Windows 7 computers in your business, that's essentially what you have. You have 15 dangerous security risks sitting in your business right now. And you have the ability to fix it and you have the ability to address it. If you are interested in some more information about this, please, please contact me and we will get you in contact with some computer experts who can help you out. Please do not wait until December or heaven forbid, don't wait until January. You need to address this issue now. This is Matt Johnson signing off. Go out and watch some live soccer. Bye-bye.